What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. One of the biggest lies I used to tell myself, but I thought was the truth when I was single before I got married. Is that you were a baddie? Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Was men are intimidated by me. Oh, no, we're not. I thought because I had a house, a car, been we driving BMW since I was 24 years old. I thought that because I made a lot of money that men just couldn't handle it. They were intimidated. No, we they don't were care. turned off because I was doing better than them. Mm -mm. That is one of the biggest lies or the things that we think when really the problem is us. Yes. If you find yourself saying, well, men are just intimidated by me. I make too much money. Um, they don't like that I'm just direct and I stand up for myself. If you keep getting that, that kind of results from men, most Stupid. likely it's not because they're intimidated. They just don't like you. Thanks. And I'm not trying to say this to be mean or to be like nasty, but that was what I was going through. They thought I was attractive. They liked being around me, but they just weren't into me because the way that you're combative, I, you're masculine, you're argumentative. What are you trying to do with none of that? I exuded my ego. A lot of women don't realize when they make money and they have all these accomplishments, the ego drives the conversation. It drives your energy, how you carry yourself, how you interact with men. This is why I say these women have just turned into the men that they've always wanted to be with. They've turned into the men that they've always wanted to be with. It's crazy, but you go out there, you chase a career, you chase money, you chase success. But in actual reality, those are the traits you're looking for in the man that you want. We're not looking for that. We're looking for fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want. Not this masculine form of your femininity where you think you're a boss, babe. We don't want that. Your, your ego is like, well, because you're not on my level, da, 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 da. And nobody wants to be treated like that, man or woman. Facts. I'll give you guys a perfect example. Girl with the pink dress on Pop the Balloon. A lot of people were like, oh, I like her personality. She seems funny. She seems cool. She I've even said that. she was a sweetheart. And all those things can be true. That does not mean that's what's attractive to a man. Ladies. That I've seen this pink girl video. She was not feminine. She wasn't friendly at all. Things that we like about ourselves and the things that we like about our homegirls does not mean that men find that attractive or want that to be what they want in a relationship. And I'm not saying change who you are to appease a man, but if you're not getting the results that you want in the dating sphere and you want to be married, you have to check how you talk to people, how you treat people, the energy you have. Normally I disagree. I think some of these ladies should change. You're masculine, you're combative, you're argumentative. That, those aren't feminine traits. They're not things that men are looking for. This goes back to the whole argument of like women talking about they can turn on their femininity for the right man or the right man can earn their femininity. It doesn't work like that. Your femininity isn't a light switch. You can't just turn it on and be like, oh, I'm masculine here. Oh, I'm feminine here. Ladies, you want a good man? You have to be feminine at all times and everything that you do has to exude that femininity. We have to feel that female nature. But if you don't have that, we're not just going to wait for you to turn it on. Come on now. Normally it stems from childhood. Normally it stems from um, being an overachiever. It stems from being somebody that's very type A. It stems from being somebody that is a perfectionist. Normally when people are like that to themselves, they're hyper critical of other people. Mm. So if you tend to have this personality trait where you're very defensive, you're standoffish, you have your guard up 24-7, 365, and you don't know how to let your hair down and have fun and speak to people lightly, gracefully, then you could probably have this problem. True. So just... I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. 
And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. Do some self-reflection, sis. It might not be because he's intimidated. He might just not like you. Preach. Exactly. Hey, and, and I'm glad this girl's out here preaching because, ladies, back to my point. You're turning into the men that you've always wanted. You're turning into the chads that you've always wanted to be with. <laughs> this is what exactly what you're doing. What happened to the good old days, man? When you meet any woman and any woman will just smile at you in a department store in a grocery store. She just give you a little grin, just a little, hey. What happened to them days, boy, when you go up to a woman and she was just feminine off the jump, off rip? You didn't have to earn her femininity. But this is where feminism really hurt women in my regard. And, and, this, and this is what I believe. Really, is that feminism made women want to go to work and earn a living? With when with today's prices, gas prices and grocery prices, ladies, we're gonna need your money just as much as you're gonna need our money. So, but the sad thing is, is that these women can't stay at home and be the wives they've always wanted to be. It truly is sad. We have lost our way. We really have. We really, really have. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I had to hit the guitar about five, six times that time. It's a good, I love that guitar riff. It's always good. What men tell me and other women tell me about their relationships? Okay. Women's standards for themselves is in hell. It always shocks me. I'm like, you, what, what? I'm sorry, but at this point, like we live in a time now where women are becoming self-made millionaires left and right. You have the option. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Do you think women's standards are too high or too low in the modern dating market? Let me know what you guys think. Personally, I think their standards are way too high. To do that, like, why are you guys dating men if your standards are in hell? You need to go see a therapist. You need to go do some like some healing. If if you were dating men, is this a single woman giving other single women advice? Shots fired! Shots fired! This is why I always use this one. Single women keep women single. And like, y'all are like, oh, I'm a dream girl. I'm a dream girl. No, girl, you're Papa John's. It's hot and ready into the door in 30 minutes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. She's, she's saying the opposite then. Okay. How are y'all standards so in hell? And it makes me feel like I'm crazy. I'm like, damn, how am I getting away with all the shit that I'm getting away with? Because apparently there's all these women walking around who will accept down here. Like, that is the standard. That's what I hear more often. More often than not, women's standards, even if they're gorgeous, beautiful, whatever, their standards are in the pit of hell. So I'm like, how am I getting away from asking Okay, okay. I'm, I'm getting confused now. She's saying in hell, which means low, but then she's... This girl's not making a lot of sense. This. When, like, 99% of women are asking for this shit. Y'all need to have some self-respect. I cannot believe the shit that I hear sometimes from women and from men. I will meet a man who's five foot three and ugly and has no money and he's dating a supermodel who pays half his rent. Like that is what I'm seeing. And we should all hold each other accountable for that and maybe- I'm gonna keep it a buck. When's the last time y'all saw that? <laughs> a five foot three guy dating a model? Bro, I don't know what, where she's hanging out at. I do not see that happening a lot. Bring back shame a little bit. Bring back shame. Because we gotta, we gotta that. increase the standard of our overall demographic. Mm -mm, don't increase your standards. Because holy hell, is it in? A lot of you ladies gotta realize you ain't an oven cooked meal. You are simply a microwave hot pocket. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shots fired. Hallelujah. Shots fired. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. We're paying market rates now. We're not, we're not paying these post COVID used car uh, uh, rates anymore. We're paying what it's worth. And you ladies are like, well, I want the old days back. I want the post-COVID used car prices back. You're not getting that. That was a one and done. You had about a year to capitalize. And if you didn't, oops, back to the discount rack. Fucking gutter. Exactly. The bar women set these days is sky high. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to accountability, it seems like it's buried in the ground. Oh, yeah, for Women sure. want men to be this perfect mix of everything. Successful, charming, emotionally available six foot six pack six figures it's the mark of the beast the six 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 mark of the beast but i mean it is what it is let's see let's get some wisdom no it's that we're damned if we do and damned if we don't no matter what action this is the guy from men need to be heard love this guy take or what we say 
women are going to find fault with it. They'll never appreciate us for what we do. They'll never acknowledge in a positive way anything we do. And they'll always look for the negative. And when I say things like that, the ladies tend to get really upset, saying, that's not true. We're not like that. Well, ladies, Inshallah. I give you Exhibit A. So I went on a first date and a car was about to hit me and he grabbed me and pulled me away. And I don't know why, but that just gave me the ick. <laughs> because it's literally the first date. Why are you so obsessed with me? Like, it was just so desperate. And it's like, play it cool. As I said, men are damn. Yeah, let me get hit by a car. What are you even worried about? Like, just, you know, whatever. It is so stupid. <laughs> they do. And damned if they don't. Here she is making a video calling out a guy for following the sidewalk rule and protecting her when she was about to get wow. hit by a car, apparently. And she has a problem with that. I guess logically we have to assume that he should have just let her get hit by the car, get injured, and potentially, well, not be around anymore. And rather than appreciate example, you approach a woman My to take man care of their hitting the nail on the head. return. And here's Contact the thing, bro. Is like with a lot of these, um, good lord, he'd be ranting. Um, and a, a lot of the times, this is what's so funny: the dichotomy between men and women in the modern dating market is that women like to put men in the friend zone, but men, we put women in the buck zone. <laughs> Everybody, line up now! Line up for the buck zone. Get on in line. <laughs> How many, how many, we, we call it, or friends with benefits, you know what I mean? Uh, fuck, uh, uh, buck fuddies, sorry, I, you know I don't like to drop the hard, the hard ones there. Buck fuddies, you know what I mean? I had a lot of those in Colegio, a lot of those in college. Those are the good ones though. They stick around, they give you the girlfriend treatment, but you just put them in the buck zone. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, you ever put a girl in the buck zone? Baby, no. Baby, come on, you know I love you. I love you so much. But it's just me and you. I just, I don't want to get a, get into a relationship because, what if I lose you? What if something happens to us? <laughs> Let the gaslighting begin. <laughs> let's get let's get back to it. I don't know what it is, man. Something in the coffee today. Blame them. I have a genuine question. How do you date when you genuinely love being single? You don't. Stupid. I honestly find it so hard. I keep downloading these apps, right? I get on there, I see the talent, I'll have a couple of conversations. See the talent? What is this, a casting call? <laughs> the talent? What do you want? And then I get so deflated, I delete it. Like, it's actually so much effort. It's like a full-time job managing those apps. Like, I feel like I've just gotten to the point where I'm so independent. Oh! Like, I literally take myself to the movies. I take myself on holidays. I'm, like, trying to start my own businesses. Like, I genuinely... <laughs> Takes herself to the movies. <sighs> Sad, bro. I love doing everything on my own. If you love it so much, why are you online complaining? Shots fired! Shots fired! This is what I don't get. These women will sit here and cry about not having a man, but then say, I'm so happy alone. I'll take myself to the movies. Then go take your butt to the movies. Go ride your horse. Why are you tripping about men? Why are you complaining about it if you love being alone so much? So now it's kind of like I'll only date someone unless they contribute something really positive to my life. Which I think is a good thing, but no. it's really hard when your life is so good. <laughs> like, I don't know, I love life. Like, what do you do? Don't I keep shut up. Going home, my parents are like, Taylor, are you dating anyone? Any boyfriends? Grandkids? I'm like, fucking grandkids, are you kidding? Like, I can't even get myself to go on a second date. It's not looking good. Here's the thing. If she really loves being single, then why all the complaints about dating? That's what I'm saying. Why are you online complaining if you love being single so much? You wouldn't feel the need to constantly bring up dating struggles or vent about men. You just live your life and not worry about it. It's that simple. Exactly. When are men going to learn? Uh, when are men going to learn that you cannot be nonchalant to bad... <sighs> when are... Okay, let's see. That you cannot be nonchalant to bad bitches. I'm an ex... Literally, what, 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 what is going on here? Is her cousin one of the chipmunks? Shots fired! Shots fired! What do you have in your mouth? Some nuts? <laughs> What's just in there? I must know. How much he paid on my rent, my bills, everything. But when we broke up, when I broke up with him, because <laughs> I don't need the money at the end of the day if we're doing too much. If you're not acting right. He said, Okay, well then go find your millionaire boyfriend then. Go find another. Go find someone who's gonna treat you the way I did. 
You wanna know how long that took? A month. <laughs> a month. I don't know why men think that they're the prize. Where's the baddie in the room? Cause I don't. I was about yeah. Where the baddie at? We are the prize. You want somebody with a lot of money. Usually when on a game show you win the prize, what's the prize? Money. <laughs> and if we have all the money, you ain't the prize. It's as simple as that. There. Yeah, such a baddie that she can get a man, but she can't keep a man. Mm -hmm. You claim that you're a baddie, but aren't baddies independent, can pay for their own shit, but then you have men paying your bills, Thanks. spoiling you and treating you a certain way, but then you try to backpedal and say that you don't need his money. Um, okay. It literally makes no sense because she says that she doesn't need the money, but then she turned around and found a man that was still paying her bills. Make that make sense. Mm -hmm. But then you think that you're going to like one up this nonchalant man by basically admitting to the internet that you found a new man within a month. So you pretty much sleep around. She's a runner. She's a track star. We know what that means, gents. <laughs> Ooh, damn, you showed him. Imagine yeah. getting on the internet admitting that you sleep. You, met, you let another man beat your cheeks. <laughs> You really stuck it to him, didn't you? Sleep around for money, but yet you don't think the man that you had was the prize. Okay, you really showed that good guy that took care of you that he was doing too much that he's really missing out. And fellas, well, and she made that video to pretty much rub it in his face. I mean, which tells me you're still not over this guy. Let this be your lesson to not pay a woman's bills unless Ever. she's in an exclusive relationship with you or Facts. she's married to you. Oh, uh, bro, don't, you, don't pay a girl, you don't pay her bills unless she's married to you, bro. Paying these women's bills that pretty much know that you ain't shit and they don't value you, respect you, or appreciate you and think that the grass is greener on the other side. Okay, bye. Oh, women so always think the grass is greener and then they then they look over the fence and the grass has got a little more brown and then they look over the next fence and then it's just like a couple weeds in the ground with just like dirt and then they, they get past it a little bit more and then they realize that it's just a scorched freaking earth and they're like, <laughs> where are all the good men? Where are they? I thought he was going to be here. But girls get fuck zoned. A boy stops talking to go, girls get fuck zoned. A boy stops talking see, to see, us I told you buck zoned. suddenly after he gets a girlfriend or starts ghosting us after we reject his first move. A friendship that we valued, we thought mattered, if only just a little to him, turned out not to matter at all. But in the end, we're the bad guys. We're the ones who lead the good guys on. Of course, we should just expect that's what you always want. We should just expect that friendship is never as valuable as a twist of our hand. They got friend zoned. They only lost another girl, another rejection. But we lost a friend, someone we thought was worth more. We lost a friend. You know what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is Edgar Allan Poe's daughter. Shots fired! Like, Shots fired! What are we trying to do with this this um, poetic rhetoric that you're sitting here trying to spat? It's crazy. You've got a woman who's got a guy friend. And as soon as she gets a boyfriend, she drops that friend without hesitation. That's what I'm saying. Like, ladies, you be next in these guys in the friend zone left and right. It's like a sushi train of just men. <laughs> like, eh, not him, not him, not him. Oh, yeah, the filet, I'll take that. Nope, not him. Like, come on. We don't feel bad for these ladies. We don't feel bad for them at all. Let me know in the comments. Do you feel bad? I don't feel bad for these ladies losing friends. This is what you wanted. You wanted to get done bad by Chad. There's another one. There's another quote right there. You wanted to get done bad by Chad. Somebody want to carry it? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Bro, shout out. I don't know who it was. Somebody left a, a comment the other day. It said, Levi, put a light back there. Dude, shout out to you, bro. This looks really good. I think you did a great job. All right, it's about that time to switch over to the Discord. Let's see what we have in the Discord. All right. Remember, guys, we're using the last 10 minutes of these streams, or whatever, these videos, to go into the Discord. So if you want to be in the Discord, should be in the description below. Join, go to the Verify channel, and then drop things in the suggestion chat. So, um, yeah, so this way I can um, react to things that you guys want me to. Uh, this one's from Blind Man Gamer. Shout out to Blind Man Gamer. This is, let me pull this back up here. Goodness gracious, he'd be smacking on that carrot, bro. Um, and the video's by Alpha Male, and it's why women finally realize they're not valuable. Okay, let's get into this. Let's react to some of this, buddy boy. Let's see what we got. 
Honestly, you're so mature. It's actually embarrassing. Wait, I've seen the show. This is where these ladies are like 25, but they look like they're 39. Shots fired! Shots fired! This is why, ladies, don't get a bunch of plastic surgery in your 20s. You look way older. All right, cool. <laughs> but Next. <laughs> so, I, know. I know. Hey, come on, man. Dude, I'm the second choice like three times in it, so. Gotcha. And that's the thing with these women. They can dish it, but they can't take it. That is... Did you hear what he just, just said? What? He said... Say that again. What did he Go say? Go on, what? She's instigating James, what did he say? Go on, say it. Go on. Go on, say it. Go on. I said you're the one that's been second choice like three times, Jenny, so... Cooked. <laughs> Cooked. She's first yes, choice now, brother. Hey, all right, dude, you're a simp. We get it. Honestly, fuck you, Kieran, generally. You wish. <laughs> My man, hey. Well, the thing is, it's tick to tap. People give it and people take it, so it is what it is. You give it, you've got to be able to take it. Sometimes people oh, yeah. say things that aren't very nice. Thanks. Nice. Hey, bro, because I'm not being funny. She's crying. Ooh. Can you... Hey, but the thing is, if you are going to dish it out, girl, you better be able to take it, too. I agree. Still be a high-value woman if you've been promiscuous in your past? No. This is a sad question. I think there's so many people in the red pill community that are saying, oh, if you're not a virgin, then you're worthless as a woman, which is ridiculous. No, you guys yeah, I, I don't think that. I think sub 10 body count. If you got less than 10 bodies, I can consider it. But once the damage has been done, it's really hard to come back from that trauma. And the reason being is because, and there's no direct studies on this. This is just kind of like my overall opinion on this. It's called pair bonding. Because here's the thing with pair bonding. The more men you've been with, the more you're going to compare the next man to the past man that you've had. It goes... Are you good? Chew before you swallow, bud. Goodness gracious. <laughs> it's just a carrot. You've, you've eaten hundreds of them. <laughs> but it goes back to the pair bonding and the Frankensteining a man, right? And the Kevin Samuels quote, if you compare or if you make the men of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past, there will be no future. It's what happens with a lot of these women that are very promiscuous is they think, oh my gosh, this guy's great, but he might not be as good as the next guy, or he's lacking from what the past guy had. This is where we go into Frankensteining a man. Frankenstein, where they say, Mark had great pee pee, but John had nice hair, and Joseph had a lot of money. Well, I mean, Chris had a nice car, and they try to build this Frankenstein of a man where it's like all these different traits of the men that they've had and it puts their standards up higher because now every man that they've been with that's going to be the new standard so if a guy has a lot of money boom now the standard of money's here the next guy is has a six pack now that standard's here so now she wants a guy who's rich has a six pack who makes six figures who has a home who drives a ferrari and she takes all the best traits from all the men and tries to frankenstein them into one that's the problem. Ladies, you got to understand a good relationship is about compromise and sacrifice. And that's just an adult thing. And most of the time when these women go through and, these, and they get a lot of trauma and they have you know more bodies, their pair bonding is lower because they're looking just to Frankenstein the best possible man when in reality it doesn't work that way. It's probably no, I'm not a fan of promiscuity. I think it's damaging to men and women, but I think it's particularly damaging to women. I know some women will be promiscuous when they're younger and then grow up and regret it. And I would say, forgive yourself like you would forgive a friend. There's no point in carrying that around with you. And it's not tied to your worth at all. If you're a human and you make mistakes. Let me know, do you think, do you think a woman's past is tied to her worth at all? Personally, I think 100%. Here's the reason here's the reason why. Because for men what matters is a woman's past and for women what matters to men is a man's future. Let me know if you agree with in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree with that? I think that's 100% right because if you went up to a woman right now and said, "Hey, there's this guy, he's a millionaire right now, but if you knew in 10 years he was going to be an alcoholic, druggy and broke, would you stay with him?" More than likely she'd say, "Absolutely not. I'm not going to stay with this guy." It's the same thing with guys. We care more about your past because it's more of a precursor of what's going to happen in the future. Like women usually get with guys that are ambitious, they have potential and things like that. But we look at, we look at the cooch facts, <laughs> the cat facts. <laughs> we look at the cat facts and say, hmm, has she been promiscuous? She has a high body count more than likely. It's not going to be good. It just means I'm next on the chopping block. So men care about a woman's past and women care uh, about a man's future. Let me know if you agree in the comments. Mistakes, then you identify the mistake and you try and fix it and you try to become the person that you admire and that's all anybody can do and if there are people in your life saying something makes you worthless get rid of those people stop listening to the red pill stuff because it's not tied this is i mean I, 
kind of disagreeing here because this is where I'm like, shame is a tool that should motivate you to be better. And she's usually pretty based. I think this is Jordan Peterson's daughter here. But this, this goes back to women change their environment to fit their mindset. Men change their mindset to fit their environment. If you're around a bunch of people and they're shaming you for being a hoe, stop being a hoe. Like that, that seems pretty self-explanatory. Or if you're around a lot of people that are shaming you for being a big back. Big back, big back. Get your butt in the gym. Start being a runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> get on the treadmill. You ate your way in. Walk your way out. To your worth. Just try to be better every day and try not to repeat things that make you feel bad or that hurt you. Hmm. The problem with a lot of marriages isn't that they've fallen out of love. The problem is, is they've stopped serving each other. Mm -hmm. When you're dating, all dating is, is you serving them. You're so happy to do whatever they want to do. You don't complain. You don't gripe about taking out the trash. You, you take out the trash Facts. with a smile on your face. What you're doing is, is you're serving each other. If you aren't Well, this is where I, I say that you should always continue dating the person that you're with. A lot of people forget to keep dating. Well, the longer you stay together, the lazier you will become. And what happens a lot in a lot of marriages, you're not getting the service that you want at home. So you start looking like, oh man, he is so cute at work. Oh man, she is so amazing at work. Uh, text says, this is especially true if your partner has an acts of service love language. Bro, do you guys know the love languages? The five love languages, acts of service, gifts, words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time. Most men are qual. Let me, let me know your love languages in the comments. Let's see what you guys got. Mine's physical touch, quality time, words of affirmation, acts of service, and gifts. I could care less about gifts. I was raised up poor, though. What you're doing is you're looking outside your marriage for something that you're not getting at home. The key mm -hmm. to great... Seeking external validation to feel better about yourself. Yeah, makes sense. Your marriage. What's a high-value woman? A woman who knows her worth and knows she can do better than that because there are men out there that aren't going to want to see a whole bunch of women at one time. But what determines a woman's worth? What do you guys think a high value woman is? Me, fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural. I think a woman determines her own value. See, that's the difference between men and women. Like yeah. A man can't just determine their value. The world dictates how valuable you the are. The marketplace, you're saying. Right. Like, right. Women could just yeah. make up how valuable she is in her head and then just assume that the world should follow that. But we mm -hmm. can't operate like that. Imagine if I said, like, that. I, I'm just worth that. Like, why? Because I believe it. Everybody would think that I'm delusional. Stupid. But women can cooking. believe that. I, I don't know. I think as a woman, <laughs> you need to hold your... <laughs> I know. I, uh, uh, yes, we know you don't know. Yourself to a certain standard to get the respect that you want. Get the Some men feel that, that modern feminism. What are you talking about? You have an overinflated sense of self. Typically, what we call that in the market is um, is um, delusion. A delusion is a false belief that is firmly held, even when there is evidence that is not true. That's what we call delusion. That's what we call that in the marketplace. Let's see if we can't play it. Delusion. <laughs> Let's hit it again. Let's hit it again. Delusion. That's what we call it. So that would make you, if you were in delusion, that would make you delusional. <laughs> Let's do it again. Delusional. <laughs> I love how the, the first one was a girl voice and the second one was a guy voice. <laughs> delusional. <laughs> uh, I got another one. I got another one. Idiot. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard at this. I've never. I forget that they ha they have like these little. You can say it. Idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so childish. Dumb. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god. All right. Last one. Last one. Last one. Stupid. I love it, dude. God, I love it. But yes. To Sneeko's point, the marketplace dictates our value as men. We have to go out there and compete against other men. To be a king, you must be keen impervious, noble, and groomed. If you're not all of those things, I don't really consider you a king. And why would a woman respect you as their king if you don't have these traits? You have to lead your house. That's why I say we have to end the epidemic. You have to lead by example. You want things to change in your home? You have to change. You want people to be more disciplined in your home? You have to be the most disciplined. You have to have the most structure. You have to have the highest standards. If you don't have that, how is anyone going to follow suit? Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? It looks like he was a good boy today. Love you, bud.
Such a good dog, man. Shout out to you guys. I really do appreciate the guy that recommended putting the light back there. Really, thank you. Um, but yeah, man, jump in the Discord so you guys can give me suggestions. Go cop the Four Pillars of Personality. That is the ebook that is selling like absolute hotcakes. Shout out to you guys. We've sold over, I think, 60 copies now. But the Four Pillars of Personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Really going to give you everything in there. I've got a couple other uh, things you can get in there. The style ebook is in the description as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.